What up YouTube, it is me again with another video. This time I decided to make a video on the serpent tribe of Dan, the mysterious tribe that was left out of the book of Revelation as one of the original 12 tribes of Israel. And we're going to take a look at why it was disinherited and I'm going to read a verse from Genesis chapter 49 and verse 17. And it reads, Dan shall be a serpent by the way, an adder in the path that bites the horse's heels, so that his rider falls backward. Here, the tribe of Dan is being compared as a serpent by the way. And we know a serpent leaves a trail everywhere it goes. It also says that he is an adder in the path. An adder is a poisonous snake. Now if you read the scriptures, if you read the Bible, we know that Satan is also compared to a snake. Genesis chapter 3, the snake in the garden. Serpent in the garden. So we know that it's not a good omen for the tribe of Dan. We're going to take a look at Dan's destiny as one of the tribes of Israel. Uh, one of the reasons why it was disinherited was because they were idolaters. They worshipped pagan statues, images, graven images, which the Lord forbids his people to do. In Judges chapter 18 and verse 30, it speaks of this. They loved to worship statues that couldn't speak nor hear. So, that being said, let's go to another verse that talks about the tribe of Dan. So we know that it is being referenced as a serpent, hence the serpent tribe. If you read Jeremiah chapter 8 and verse 16, it says, The snorting of horses can be heard from Dan, the nine of stallions makes the whole land tremble, they are coming to the bow of the land and everything in it, the city and its people. And if you read the next verse, in Jeremiah 8, verse 17, it says, I am going to send snakes among you, vipers that can't be charmed. They will bite you, declares the Lord. Here is describing Dan coming down to his people, the bar in the land, everything in it, the city and his own kinfolk. And the Lord is comparing them to a snake, viper. The, the Lord used the tribe of Dan to judge Israel when they transgressed his commandments. So at this time Dan was no longer considered uh, one of the 12 tribes. That's why it was used to judge the 12 tribes. And if you read Genesis chapter 49 and verse 16, it very much speaks of this. It says, Dan shall judge his people as one of the tribes of Israel. Now we're going to look at the 12 tribes, as you see in this map here. This is the land that they possessed, the 12 tribes of Israel. They took this land from their enemies to inherit it themselves, and they divided it amongst themselves. 
each drive had a portion and you can see Dan here seen in two separate locations that is because they originally were near the seaside bordering the tribe of Ephraim the tribe of Benjamin and the tribe of Judah where Christ would eventually come from but uh, if you read the scriptures it says that that piece of land was too small for them and they were having a hard time trying to boot the enemies that remained in the land so they said the heck with it and decided to migrate north of Israel near Mount Hermon which means forbidden place by the way and they ended up near the Phoenicians more of the Israelites enemies and if you read Joshua 1947 it speaks about the territory of the tribe of Dan had to be extended because of the crowding in of their enemies so the sons of Dan went up towards northern Israel and took it and smote their enemies with the sword and possessed the land and dwelt therein and they called or named the land after their forefather Dan so they were really big on marking territory every piece of land they conquered they marked it down with their own symbol they had a particular symbol they liked to use or sometimes they even named it after their forefather Dan the originator of that tribe of Dan and it says again in Judges 18.1 that the tribe of the Danites sought for itself an inheritance to dwell in for until then no sufficient inheritance had been acquired by them among the tribes of Israel here it speaks where the land was too small for them so they migrated north and eventually continued to keep migrating north and they would also link with their enemies the Phoenicians who would eventually betray them and overtake them from within and would use the tribe of Dan to so they could they themselves claim Israelite heritage through the blood line of Dan and it, that's how the tribe of Dan became the Ebo 13 tribe the Judas of the 12 tribes and they would like I said continue to migrate north and eventually head out west and move all across what is known today as Western Europe and we're gonna take a look at that we're gonna take a look at that also the scriptures make a mention of how the tribe of Dan loved to sail the seas there were sea sailors that loved to sail in ships and conquer land and we're gonna see some of the land that they conquered and how did they mark that land as their property so if you look at I want you guys to focus here on this flag of Denmark in particular if you look at the name Denmark there's an encry encryption in there the name Dan is encrypted in that in there. Hence Dan's mark or mark of Dan. That is the encryption. If you separate the words Dan and Mark, you have Dan Mark. Get it? Dan's mark. Or if you rotate the words, move mark in front, you have mark of what? Dan what is that mark look at the flag it's a cross or an X if you rotate it same thing X cross if you look at the Scotland flag here it has a cross and they marked all their territory remember like a serpent 
They marked they, they were big on marking territory and naming some of it after their forefather Dan. And that's the clue. If you look at the flag of Denmark and the name Denmark, it, it's encrypted in there and then you can follow along. So basically you, you have the Danites in the UK, England, Switzerland, Finland, Denmark, Scotland, Sweden, Iceland, Norway, Northern. So you can begin to see where they are today as far as nations go. And just so you guys could see where Dan stands as of today, if you read in a book called The Testament of the Twelve Patriarchs, it contains the prophecies of all 12 tribes of Israel, including Dan, as to what will befall them in the latter days. And if you read in particular the Testament of Dan, chapter 2 and verse 27, it says, in regards to Dan, it says, Nevertheless, Dan prophesied unto them that they should forget their God. That they should what? That they should forget their God and should be alienated from the land of their inheritance and from the race of Israel, and from the family of their seed. There you go. It's letting you know that they pretty much were destined to be a Judas tribe. And as far as today goes, they are considered Israel's enemy. In other words, and they are... They are mostly Gentile nation now. And it is said that the Antichrist will come from this tribe of Dan. That's pretty interesting. They are also described as a snake in the Bible. And they are not sealed in the book of Revelation. Also, something that's also interesting. The builder of the Temple of Solomon was a Freemason from the tribe of Dan. Uh, Dan's descent, One of Dan's descendants. One of his sons, Hiram, he was a Freemason. So, as you can see, a lot of the Illuminati is a mix of the tribe of Dan, along with Esau, the Nephilim, and the Kenites. And you can see some of the influences from the tribe of Dan in the United States of America. We know that they share the same colors as the flag of the Brits. And it is an extension of the Brits and eventually will become an entity itself. Hence, as you know, some of you heard about the 13 bloodlines of the Illuminati. Well, you got 13 stripes in the United States flag. Coincidence? Hmm, I think not. You can see some of their cults like the Knights Templar, the Freemasons, which I just mentioned. The Illuminati, they are more at the top of the food chain. So, for those of you that like to say, oh, the U.S. is Manessa, the Brits are Ephraim, that is just hogwash. Total lies or confusion on people's part. Clearly, you can see they are from the tribe of Dan. And at this stage, at this stage of the game, they are mostly Gentile nations. The enemy has well, very well taken over the tribe of Dan and are just using them to hide behind that. So how can you get that confused is beyond me. So, you know, some of them like to say, oh, the tribe of Dan is... Oh, the UK is this tribe, England is this tribe, Switzerland is this tribe, no. These are all Danites. It's clear. If you follow the clues. So, on that note, I'm going to end this video here. And I hope this opens you guys' eyes so that you can see and ears so that you can hear. So, enough with the confusion. And next time someone tells you, you could just point them to this video. Alright, ciao.